Hello everyone, this is Game Galaxy Zone. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door. In the previous episode, we beat Magnus Von Grapple and got our second crystal star of the game, the Emerald Star. So we can go check that out really quick. There it is, the object you got from Puny Elder in the Great Tree. Also, I should mention one thing really quick. I just leveled up on my way back. And uh, we have three more badge points that I can add to anything, which um, I guess I could do that at the moment, because I really don't have anything else that's really worth using, I guess. So I could do this, but not at the moment. Anyway, uh, also we read the email on the way back. Uh, it wasn't actually caught on camera because I didn't expect it to happen right away, but uh, we can read it really quick. There you go. Sorry, I probably should have read that, but... I have to watch what I, uh, really do right now, I guess. For some odd reason, I'm really stuffy. I forgot to take my stupid things. I'm a douche. Whatever. Too late now. <laughs> I'll worry about it in a little bit, I guess. Um, anyway. In here, back to the Thousand Year Door to... Activate the crystal star and find out where the third one is located. You know, looking back at this game, my god, the graphics just from the GameCube were astonishing. Especially for this game. Well, I mean, mind you, this game is recording in HD at the moment. It's also playing in HD at the moment, so... Which, I don't believe this game should be possible to do, but... It looks beautiful regardless. So there it is, a yellow-gold-brownish crystal star. Orange, maybe, whatever you want to call it. But isn't that in the sky? What does that mean? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. <laughs> You're figuring that out now. So there's more than treasure lying behind the door. I don't know. Well, that's fantastic. Cool. Frankly? Is his name actually Frankly? I probably didn't catch on to that. I thought it was just Frankie. Very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Blitzville. At least I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. So, we have to go visit somebody, huh? Talk to them about getting a ticket, huh? Of course you can't wait to meet him. Alright. Onwards. So we're back at Rogueyport. After what seems like forever. But we are back. And before we head off to visit Don Pianta, 
We are going to go buy some badges. Alright, how many people are going to ask me to do the amazing trick of glitching my way over to the Ultra Hammer? Yeah, the hell with that. I'm not even going to attempt that. Special deals, huh? So let's see, we got Power Jump, we got Pretty Lucky P, Happy Flower, Impuller. Huh. I didn't actually know those were a thing. However, there isn't really many things here. So I'm not really too concerned with that. Alright, so, sadly, nothing good up here, unfortunately. Okay. Um, I guess we returned those. I don't think we did. I guess we did. I didn't think we did, but I guess we did. So anyway, real quick I want to make a point. This is the lottery system where you can get lottery tickets and stuff each day. Uh, really nothing too important I guess. Anyway, really quick I'm going to try something interesting. And uh, see in, seeing if this will work or not. I mean, it's not like I have the money to buy it anyway. Maybe it doesn't work. I thought it would. I guess not. I guess you physically have to do this first. Anyway, in here is the Pianta Parlor and, uh... So... Uh, what we need to do is talk to him, and there's a specific way that we have to do that, that we're going to go do right now. I'm trying to think of, like, how exactly we need to get there, or talk to him. It's been a while. I've been trying to think. Anyway, we're gonna beat this guy up. <laughs> because... He's a jerk. And it's in our way and wants money. That's Gus. He's a super annoying and tries to take tro tolls from everyone. Max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. In all, he's pretty tough. Wow, that was really nice. But we can't jump on him because of his spear, so we have to resort to our hammer. Oh, I also forgot to mention, yes, the stage does look different, if you were wondering. Um, I ended up when I leveled up, the stage ended up uh, upgrading, which happens upon leveling up. Your stage will upgrade and give you better stuff. It can also hurt you as well, but it usually helps you out. Oh, wow. As you can see from that, the fog makes it harder to hit. It also makes it very harder to see. Also, if you wonder why I do that uh, all the time, it's because it gives me more appeal, which levels up my stuff. 
faster. So. Alright. Even though I don't need it right now, I'm still using it, just testing it and whatnot. What a crappy time for Fog to appear. The bigger audience you have, the better usually. Defeated him, moving on. He'll move out of our way forever now. He won't ever come back, which is quite nice. So now we can access this part or this area of the game. And um, things I used to do to like maneuver around and stuff, especially getting into this building here. This building is locked, and it will be for quite some time until a specific storyline part. However, I believe we can actually get into this room early. There used to be a specific way of me to get on top of this lock, like that, without actually touching the lock. Once you get on top of the lock, you can, uh, you can, uh, do quite a lot of stuff. So once you get up here, you can jump over here, which, um, allows you early access up here. However, we need something else to get over there so we can uh, access the star early in a sense of ways. I don't know if anyone really knows about that or not. Uh, anyway, if we defeat that guy and then go behind this alleyway here, which I actually didn't know about for a very long time, but uh, I found out about it. We walk in here and we talk to this guy. Robo Thieves, or Robo Thieves, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> if you want to meet that lion cheating, stealing, no good jerk for brains, Don Pianta. <laughs> yeah, sure do. Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it will cost you 64 coins. So I guess you actually have to pay him. But, I don't know if you really do or not. See, this is what I was testing right first in the episode, but it just... it didn't work right away. You got that? Not green, not blue, yellow. So there we figured it out. That's how you figure out that. So I believe you actually have to talk to him first in order for the stuff to work. Otherwise I don't think it will. As you can see we tried, but I did buy them in the wrong order at first, so I don't know. Also I'm gonna save here. Continue on, we'll go and uh, go open up the mystical ways to Mr. Scumbag Don Pianta. I guess he's a real crude guy. But this is Mario we're talking about here.
talks to the door, opens the door. Not a bad ability. Anyway, we jump up here, get on top of this place, and there is the men in black, or should I say, piantas in black. You want to take it to the bloop? The blimp. We ended up in the wrong part of town. Ended up in those ghettos. <laughs> Grumptations. Rough them up a little bit. Jeez, these guys are mean. But this is Mario you're talking to here. He always wins. Such a dope. Some skirt he fell for. <laughs> It's nothing, it's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. The Vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They oughta still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter Francisca and this Frankie <laughs> and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yes, boss, Vincey's right. Leave us leave it to us to find Francisca. Quiet, you it's cause you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. Exclamation point. I hope you don't. Dopes ain't making complaints about my decisions. You making complaints. No boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I'm. Th what I was thinking, boss. <laughs> it won't happen again, boss. You dead, boss. <laughs> God. I'm sorry, I had to. They look like real people. Alright. So, in the next episode, <laughs> we're gonna leave the ghettos of ghettos. <laughs> this place looks like a ghetto. Anyway, we're gonna move from there to go find his daughter and earn a ticket to a Dublin. So, I will see you guys in the next episode.